we are here in East Shillong constituency where uh, we are in one of the polling booths in the East Shillong constituency and we are joined in by one of the candidates of the East Shillong of uh, representing the Congress, uh, Mr. Um, Manuel Badwar. Uh, but Manuel, thank you for uh, talking to us today. Uh, we have we have seen like you know this this elections is a bit different, uh, wherein many of the political parties have entered uh, you know this uh, political arena. So uh, you know what are your thoughts about that? This elections is different, of course. It's not just about political parties entering the arena. I think it's 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 reach a particular point juncture in life whereby probably there's a huge transformation that is required also. And then I think even the way the election is being fought is also a little different, especially in urban setup like us. I think, I don't know, this is my estimate that uh, social media is starting to play a bigger role. Channels like yours in YouTube and all that are becoming very popular. And the viewership is also extremely high. So OTT services are becoming the order of the day, you know. So, so they are playing a very critical role also in actually reaching out to the mass. So I have this firm belief that uh, people are much more informed people get to weigh the different political parties properly, gets to understand the views of the candidates properly and I believe that will be, it'll be, at least he'll be an informed uh, uh, constituent, right? So, so, so the point is, this election is fought on that basis. We'll see how the numbers pan out, we'll see how everything happens on the second, but I have this firm belief that it has changed drastically even from 2018 also. Right. Yeah. Uh, Manuel, also, we have spoken to uh, you know many many of the voters here, yeah. and uh, they have said you know we want to vote for change. Yeah. So, do you think that the co Congress, you know, will be able to give that change to the people? I believe that the Congress will not just be able to give that change to the people. The Congress will be given more than the change for the people, because the Congress itself has reinvented itself. So that's a very good uh, thing that is happening even within the party. And the fact that there are much more well-learned people who are entering the political arena and that is across the political uh, ecosystem that exists right now, that also will be a huge change. But from the Congress perspective, I believe that the deliverables and the targets that we've set ourselves, at least when we do come into power, whether it's, it, it may be poverty alleviation, creation of employment, building a better education system, ensuring that, you know, all those things, the five stars that we've talked about and then the manifesto itself, it manifests itself in something which is very much deliverable because we've looked at the economic part of it also. We've looked at if we reduce, uh, if we reduce corruption to, to, to a certain extent or to a large extent, then those kind of numbers are easy to come by, you know. So it's, it all depends on uh, the public at large, whether they believe that uh, they need change. There's definitely everybody needs change. But then whether they move in the change towards the right direction or in the wrong direction, that will be only known on the second. But I have this firm belief that the Meghalayan voters are not stupid. So, so they're very smart, they're very savvy and they understand exactly what they need. And I have this firm belief that come what may, uh, we are looking at better days, at least in, to, in, the, in the years to come. Uh, the days, the bad days has gone and we just hope that these better days come a little early than later, right? Yeah. Talking about better days, you know, uh, many political parties have said that th theirs will be the single largest majority in the upcoming elections. Do you think that, my first, uh, you know, first part of the question is, do you think that Congress will be able to achieve that magic number? And if that doesn't happen, who are the, you know, political parties that you're looking at for a post-polar alliance? Yeah, so, so uh, people can brag, but at the end of the day, any political observer will be able to understand that it's going to be a fragmented mandate. Uh, Congress definitely will hold in a good number of seats to a sizable number of seats to be able to form the government and that's for sure but of course through a coalition again now like-minded parties will obviously be the parties that we'll be we'll be working with together not necessarily that we have to name each and every party there are certain parties which we are definitely opposite and poles apart those kind of parties we cannot work with but then We'll have to see how what the mandate talks. It depends on the public, right? If the public gives a mandate to a certain party, and if the public, even if it's a fractured man mandate, but the majority, a, a large chunk of them is given to a certain party, then we'll obviously have to work together. Right. My final question to you is, uh, you know, you, you are going up against a veteran like Kong Amparin, and there are others also in the fray. Yeah. What are your chances? What are your prospects in this election? 
see there's no such thing as veteran or new right politics is politics yaar you just approach the public at large and tell them that this is your plan for the future and this is your plan for the state and this is what you think development is all about now it depends on the public at large to understand whether you're capable or whether you you have these brilliant ideas or not now veteran or not veteran to me does not even come into play uh the prospects are extremely large extremely good because i've visited uh, a, quite a number of polling stations and i've seen a lot of young kids coming out so that's heartening for us to see because if the younger generation come out and vote believe it or not the younger generation will only vote for better things so uh, so so the, the, so so i have this feeling that it definitely it's a good sign it's a good sign for politics it's a good sign for the polity of the state it's a good sign for for me as well it's a good sign for ev- it's 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 something which is healthy it's more democratic uh there's a lot of money that is being involved i think from the especially from the sitting mla uh, it's it's ridiculous but then at the end of the day okay they play their part we have to play our part and we play the part only through, uh, through, through what should i say we play our part only by making people understand that you know the politics that we need to do is progressive politics uh, forget about all this nonsense that has been going on for 15 20 years yeah we have not seen any development at all in this state we have not seen any development at all in this city we have not seen any development at all in this constituency so that kind of politics should be thrown away if you ask me personally and the public at large i think they have i have this feeling that they've understood that to a large extent yeah